Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new pre-market analysis. Welcome to a new forecast. It's been a while. It's been probably a week. And uh, sorry for that. Other things. So, yeah. Um, Welcome back. I haven't looked at the charts that much because automated. I was looking at my automated trading pairs, but didn't really trade anything else. <laughs> uh. So yeah, uh, if my nose sounds sounds like a runny runny nose, the hay fever is slowly starting to kick in. So yeah, I will be, I probably will be sneezing quite sometimes now. But hey, I'm trying. Um, so yeah, let's look at look at past weeks. We remember that we had that push down. Now we can see that clear slowdown. We're leaving wicks to the downside, but also leaving wicks to the upside. Although we have the bullish closure, uh, has that wick to the upside, not showing any clear intent of going up with high momentum as of now. So that makes both sides of the weekly candle nice liquidity pools. Uh, that we can target. We can see last week we took the lows and ended up taking the highs and then we came back. Took the lows. Uh, then the highs. Then we came back. Um, We know that overall we are inside this bearish range. We reached back into premium pricing, reacted from the daily supply zone then we got that move to the downside, taking into an range liquidity on the lower time frame structures. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I thought that after getting below here, we might get a move to the upside. But if we just look at this, we took into an range liquidity, liquidity, didn't come back into that one hour supply zone as of yet. We've got a nice 50 minute supply zone there as well. Um, but we can look at this. We pull this across. See, we never reached back in. So this is the range we're working with. Um, let's, let's remove that for now. Because I was just looking to look uh to the long from below here. Intermediate longs. What we can clearly see now, we are bearish. We reached down there. So we can mark that out as a proper structure low. Then we reached back up, took into an arranged liquidity. We have this one hour supply zone still above. So I'm quite interested to see what happens in that area. But other than that, we might already get the move to the downside. Now going to the daily real quick to check out what where the highs and lows are. So there's a quite in the size of candle as well if you ask me but previous daily lows previous daily highs from friday um yeah now those looking super clean Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, what's smart, what's smart, what's smart. Yeah, let's just leave that, take that out. Still got that intact. Took into range liquidity, got the move to the downside. Got a low here. Let's go back to the weekly one more time, or the, sorry, the daily. So the thing is that on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday we got that strong push to the downs, but look at that Thursday candle, that wick there. 
showing us that price doesn't want to go up instantly. And showing a very strong turnaround candle is this actually. Although we closed bullish, look at the wick after we took that liquidity. Now, the only thing is that Friday didn't give us that confirmation of that turnaround. If we, if price would have given us a, a strong bearish candle, then we would have probably known for 90% that price would continue further to the downside. But now I'm a bit indecisive with that. So um, what I will do is just look at that. This can go as well. That's where we look for longs, right? To get the turnaround, the continuation. Hmm. Look at this pool. All right. So there we have it. This is my play 100%. I'm waiting for price to take up previous daily highs and Asia highs. Although Asia high, Asia lows are still intact. Doesn't matter. I won't be entering the market before this move. Um, look at this liquidity pool. So we got a low, we've got a high. So low, high, return to discount pricing. We got that push, push, and we got that turnaround right there. Break below here. And I think we, we might have actually, no, we didn't. We didn't reach back into discounted pricing either or premium pricing. So my move for today would be wait for price to get up here, give us our entry drill, and then continue further to the downside. And that seems to be a very valid move looking at how this is formed. A nice, nice one hour. Uh, nice. Jesus. One hour supply zone. That's looking super clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's no area currently I want to long from anyway. So this is the move I'm looking for today. Hopefully, price is on our side and gives us that move up in here, at least up above the daily highs and then gives the turnaround. Then for GU, so this is, oh, I haven't looked at GU. In a long time. Didn't get that move though. It did actually there. This is looking good. Give me one second, guys. That's looking ready to go. So there we are bearish or bullish there. That's a thing though. I think we're gonna almost copy EU. We are going to copy you. Interesting that previous week level. It's kind of a support resistance area. Pull it across as well. Nice. Okay, so GU on the weekly, what do we have? One second, my screen is a bit dirty. So pretty much same story is on EU. Although 
EU was a bit clearer in terms of structures. Um, stick the low, stick the high, pulling up a lot of liquidity here now. But we can clearly see the bullish push, that turnaround in the size of candles, and then that weekly that's not telling us anything, not showing us where we want to go. Highs. Now look at the daily. So this is the thing with GU. We reached back into premium pricing of that bearish range, tapped into a nice daily demand zone, got that push, but we're still bullish on this structure. Bearish, bullish break. We tend to discount of pricing and then we moved away. But as we approach these highs again, I started to slow down. And uh, we actually didn't get that continuation to the upside. Price didn't show us any, any strong bullish continuation signs. If anything, we took a low, we took liquidity down. We ranged a lot around here and now we took the highs. And we start to approach these lows now. And uh, really see that we're building up this liquidity now on the freaking daily time frame. So I've really got my eyes on these lows now. Probably this one, even that one. But until that happens, we've got to wait, we've got to see. Um, we already reached back into that premium pricing of this range. Uh, we took into an range liquidity. If we come up higher, I don't know if we still can get a move in the higher regions. Um, as there's not much liquidity, and this would be quite far away to be liquidity for these ranges, but you never know. Uh, but I think that's too far away. So, what I'm looking at for today and starting of the week. Just for price to push back into here. And I don't know if this is going to play out, but this seems to me, for me, to be a valid move at the moment or a valid play, a high probability setup. Is that price reach back in, reaches back into these, into this one hour supply zone? Not, not because it's a supply zone, but especially because of the way it moved. We got that break, we've got that liquidity. So if we take that, then we have enough reason, reason to. Get to these lows. Um, in addition to that, we reach back into premium pricing of this bearish range. Um, we can line it up with taking into an range liquidity. We can line it up with overall direction of the structure. Only thing that's against this trade is this bullish structure on the green level, um, and the high time frame structures, like the dark blue one, of course. But then if we zoom out, we've got a Purple one as well, where we still need to reach back into that um, discounted level, in the, into those discounted levels, as you can see. And that will be below, even below here. So purple and red are on our side with this move, as well as light green, uh, light blue and dark blue and dark green. Are not on our side, but you won't always have all structures on the, on your side. Sometimes you just need to go with the most recent one, or trust that the most recent one will line up with the higher ones eventually. So yeah, that's my move for GU today. Then DXY. Oh yeah, we already looked at like, how the candles were formed here. Yeah, that looked like. You can look at the fifteen real quick. Gap, gap already taken. Um, yeah, this is, I would say because of the liquidity, there's something you should look at. Uh, sorry, on the one hour time frame, not on the 15. <laughs> I tried to say there's a fair value gap in four hour time frame in one sentence, and I ended up saying fafa. But you can see on the four hour, there's this imbalance here. 
Rev, how you got? That's it. It's inside our one hour uh, supply zone. So that's nice as well. We could use that as a confluence. The one hour imbalance here is looking even better. Uh, so yeah, this area is looking valid to me. Then DXY. And after that, we do news. So let me already get Forex. Thingy here. We don't have much news today. What's about tomorrow? Not much news tomorrow. And Wednesday, it starts. Okay. So for today, we've got one orange folder and it's not even on the pairs we're trading. So we're not interested in the news. And then, yeah, it already happened there. Liquidity. Got that push down, we've got a low, we've got a high, a higher low and a potential higher high now incoming. Although we took liquidity and DXY is actually ready to get, come lower. Why? Because we have a low, we have a high, higher low, and now we made a higher high. Any structures in the low time frame now realign with this structure there. There we go. Like that. What's funny though is that this is quite correctional now. But it's, it's very clean, so we can work with that. But the XY, I'm actually looking at lower pricing. Um, and that's actually conflicting now. Thinking about it, that's conflicting with our digs with our euro and GU. But you can see that we have a bear structure turning bullish here, realigning with the dark blue one. So we got two, got two bullish structures that are looking for higher pricing, which does line up with EU and GU, where we are looking for lower pricing. Um, but then zooming in on. On uh, DXY, you can clearly see that it's, it's I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet. We got low, just about though, but we did it, take it. So, actually, what I'm looking at is We've got this push and we've got this range. This is on the four hour though. So we're looking at lower pricing overall. Although we might get up there or even up here. See how cut the lows, then this level, to the highs, and then the move. <laughs> All right, so my eyes are on EU and GU. My I'm not clear yet or not confident yet on DXY, what's going to happen next. So I'm going to leave that out of my analysis for today. And uh, I'll just work with the information I got from EU and GU. And once a move has happened, we can maybe see what DXY wants to do as well and go from there. All right, guys, so then that is my forecast and my pre mark analysis for today. I wish you guys good luck this week. Go get them, and I catch you guys later. Peace out.